Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and we talk about DNS, which is the uh, basically the IP addresses. It's the address book of the internet and the web. So when you go to um, a website, of course, um, it's the uh, domain name server numbers or IPs that are actually uh, on each website. Now, most of us never think about DNS as something we can change, and probably most of a lot of people don't never even under you know know about DNS. But it's there, and there are things that can be changed. You can actually choose who will be your provider for a DNS uh, request. Like I said, by default, all our computers are meant to be used with the DNS that is our internet service provider. Uh, because in the settings in Windows, in general, we have a DNS provider that is just um, you know, automatic. Whatever we have, we're gonna use. So your internet service provider is, most for most people, the one that you use. But there are others you can use, and there are reasons why you might want to use others. So, first of all, we had a video today about secure DNS, which is also called DNS over HTTPS. And what that is, is that it actually requests that every time you go and ask to visit a website, that the address be secure. That prevents snooping, prevents, um, you know, could prevent malware, could prevent you going to the wrong place because the secure side means it needs a certificate to verify its authenticity. Now, I also said that your internet service provider might not actually honor requests of secure DNS. It's not every ISP that does that, which means you fall back automatically on standard DNS, unencrypted, which technically could you know, make it um, a problem depending on what you do. It's not a huge hazard or a huge problem, but it is a security issue that is added to, you know, sometimes it's a ton of little security problems that create a big problem at the end. But you can choose your DNS server. And there are a few that are uh, available. Now, there's also another reason why you want to maybe choose a DNS server. So let's go and use the example with Google Chrome. So in Google Chrome, when you go into the upper right corner, go into settings, and go into privacy and security, and the security side, once again, we go down and we have the use secure DNS. Use your current provider, which probably is your own ISP but you could choose a custom ISP and or a custom DNS. <clears throat> one of the other reasons, because not just for security, one of the other reasons why you might want to choose another DNS is for speed. And what do I mean by that? What do I mean is that when you actually do a request, so when you're on, you know, a... Um, your browser and you actually ask for a website, a different website that you want to go to. What happens here is that you might actually, um, you know, the, the, the clicking on a link or the search in Google or going to Google or going to a website means that your browser is going to send a request to your ISP and your ISP is going to look up a list and say, okay, that website is at that IP address. Now let's go there. And for most ISPs, it's not a problem when you go to standard websites that everybody goes every day. Yet, it could be uh, slower sometimes on websites that are not requested as often. And that's where speed could actually uh, increase if you actually go to a um, DNS server that 
gets more requests because the list of websites that your ISP has is based on the usage of its um, of all the people that are actually on that ISP, which means that it creates that list and it knows, okay, Google, I know that Google is this IP. We're going to go there. It's an easy one. Everybody uses it. Um, but in more obscure websites that you might go to, your ISP might say, I don't have that IP address. I don't know what that is. So what it needs to do is jump to another server and say, do you know this? And so on. Now, maybe the next server is going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, that I know that website. This is the IP. And that transition takes a little more time because now it needs to ask other servers, what is this? By using a very popular server, well, you can avoid that because that popular server might actually know most of the websites, even the ones that are more obscure and that your ISP might not know about. So um, what are these servers? Well, I'll recommend two, three actually. I'll recommend three that are known to be pretty good and usually often faster than your own ISP's um, address. Now, in the custom side here, when you click custom in uh, Google Chrome, it offers actually already um, three of the ones that I want to actually uh, give out. One is Cloudflare. One is also the Google public DNS. And the other one is open DNS, which promises open DNS promises not to track anything. So that could be one of choice if you want to lower the tracking possibilities. But whatever you choose between open DNS, Google's public DNS and Cloudflare is fine and might might um, increase the speed of the requests when you go for a website. Also, what's nice here is that the secure DNS over HTTPS is, of course, works on all of these that are actually given to you here. And one last that I'll just mention quickly, there's one that here you see clean browsing, it says family filter. If you have kids and you're wondering where they're going, you can actually choose that one, which removes some of the less interesting websites that parents often don't want their kids to go to. So it filters out the content. So you'll have less choices if you go outside of the standard websites because it has a list of, let's say, it's like the, the <laughs> um, it's, it's like Santa. It's, it's got a naughty list. So basically, um, this could be a good idea if you want to make sure that, you know, searching on Google and searching on the web is cleaner. Uh, because this is going to actually filter out the bad stuff. So uh, my choice would be Cloudflare, but my second choice would be probably OpenDNS and then the Google Public DNS. You choose whatever you want. And once that is done, now everything it will do on your browser will go through that DNS, that domain name server, not your, inter your uh, ISP anymore. That also removes another side of your ISP. Because if you use the standard DNS of your internet service provider, it might actually snoop on that and know where you're going. If you use the DNS of an, another third-party DNS, like I just chose Cloudflare, well, those requests now are sent to Cloudflare directly, which means the internet service provider does not have that request going through. So hope that you understand a little bit what I've just said. And uh, yeah, changing is maybe a good idea. I have actually have changed mine through another means that can be done. Um, I change it directly. If you have a router, if you know how to go into your router, into the menus and everything, you can actually go and enter that info in the router itself. That means that every device in your home that connects to the internet will go through a DNS that is not the one from your internet service provider because your router is going to tell every device where to go. 
So I've often do, done that, and actually my router is on the open DNS uh, address. I've changed it for that rather than choose the automatic um, ISP, which is, you know, my internet service provider's DNS. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.